Hey guys, I'm Ronnie and welcome back to another EFC 24 player career mode video. We have finally done it. We have signed for Madrid. In the last episode, we ended it off with the group stages where we got injured. Um, and in the last group stage match, we beat Denmark 2-1. Saliba scored. And now round of 16, we play Ghana and we beat them 2-0 with Manu Kone and Loriente both scoring. And now it's the quarterfinals against Germany. Biggest match so far. And we get knocked out on penalties, one all. And it was Mbappe and Bari, Baria who scored. And again, we are still injured, so now that we're out of the World Cup, we're back with La Liga football with Real Madrid. But we are injured, so we're gonna have to sim that. And the first game of the season is a 3-0 win. Lukaku scored two goals, and Latasa scored one as well. I don't know who that is. Now we play Cadiz. And we win, we lose 2-1, sorry. Messi scored the only goal for Real Madrid, which is an interesting transfer. And now he plays against his old club, Barcelona. It's El Clasico. He's on the bench. I don't know if he'll get subbed on. But it ends in a one-all draw. Lukaku scored. So I sent off. Messi did play for a fair few minutes. And so Fati also played. Ruben Neves also Barcelona. Also Rashford. And he scored in the 22nd minute for Barcelona. I also apologize if you guys can hear thunder. It's quite loud. And also Mendes has been selected for Euro qualifiers. So apparently this qualifies for Euros but not for the World Cup. Doesn't quite make sense but okay. Real Madrid beat Girona 4-0. Wait a second. So, But not every European country is in. How do you even get into the World Cup? So if you just have a back team and you still make it. That's crazy. Time for Mendes' first game of the season. It is with France, even though he's been at Real Madrid for like a month now. It is in a Euro qualifier game, so not a friendly. So this game actually means something. It's against Scotland. And as you can see, Mendes has changed a bit. That World Cup, that season as a whole, just ruined him completely. And as you can see right now, this is his first game back. And you can tell that he has not played in a long time. He is very rusty. He keeps getting chances and he keeps losing the ball, not even being able to get shots away. And now Scotland will go in and on the attack. Robertson, he's crossed it and it is saved by Magnan. Scotland probably could have done better with that chance though. And then here again, France attack and Mendes has a shot and he scored on his return. And France have the lead, 31st minute. Mendes, first goal of the season. First goal, technically as a Real Madrid player, but just not for Real Madrid. <laughs> but he's contracted to Madrid. But anyways, he scored and the keeper was not saving that. He just shot that in to the side netting. I think it was side netting or it was at least very close to the side netting. It was side netting. Now Mendes has a free kick and surely it's too far for Mendes to think about it. Ah, uh, I tried to make him channel in a Ronaldo, but he's missed and half time. Second half now and Scotland almost get an equalizer, but it is blocked. And now it's France's turn. Can they get a second? Loud ball to Mendes. Surely no keeper has saved it. And it is out for a corner. There you can see Mendes' hairstyle in full force. Don't worry, he will change it. Because this is not really a vibe. And let's be real, it's not really working for him. Anyways, corner now for France. Dembele will take it. Can France get a second? And really establish their lead. Mendes goes for the overhead kick and just wide. Almost with a spectacular goal on his return to football, but it's just out of the post. Also, that was his weak foot. Who tries bicycle kicks with a weak foot? Crazy. Now the chance for France. Mendes is a long shot, and it is wide. And that will be the last chance of the game for France. But Scotland have a chance, and they've scored a late equalizer in the last minute of the game final seconds and France have slipped up and that really sums up the whole of Mendes' last season at Manchester United and for France during the World Cup and now France have lost no sorry lost points dropped points they've drawn they've not lost and there's the full-time whistle France held back by Scotland one all just like a lot of AFCON games Today, actually tonight, South Africa are playing and then tomorrow Zambia are playing so I'll be watching those games.
And next game, another France game. And this time it's against Ireland. Ireland fans will want revenge, although they've played France after that Cherry Henry handball. But let's be real, there's no way the Ireland fans are over that. Especially the Irish guy. Anyways, France now have a chance here. Mendes with the pass to Dembele, Mbappe, and it's 1 0. Never any doubt, Kylian Mbappe with the goal. Usman Dembele with the assist, and he does the money celebration because he plays for PSG, and that is what he loves. That was a joke, by the way. Like, I, I like Mbappe personally. Uh, he's, I think he's a good player, very talented. Another France chance, nice ball over the top. Mendes able to trap it, and now he has a chance to shoot fake shot, but he has lost the ball. And that is a very poor tackle by Thierry Mendes. And now it's up to the referee whether that's a red or a yellow card. Mendes has to control the player, but it's not enough. And Mendes has a straight red, the first of his career. And that means for his next call up, he will not be playing the first game for France. And his game ends. Luckily, in, in a 2 0 win, Mbappe scored the other goal as well. And there, for some reason, the game is broken, and Ancelotti is lecturing him, but he's not going to be happy with that. And now it is time for Thierry Mendes' Real Madrid debut on for Lukaku seven minutes into the video. And he plays his first game as a brilliant ball. And can he get his first goal? Surely he does. And he's hit the post. How unlucky. Can this go on the rebound? No, it's saved. It's a corner for Real Madrid. It's clear the way. Can they still score from it though? It goes back to Thierry Mendes. He's going to shoot from distance, but it's blocked. But it's back to him once again, and he scores. Mendes gets his first goal for Real Madrid. And they are 2-1 up against Getafe in the 64th minute. After a lot of struggles, he has finally got the moment he has been waiting for his whole career. And this is a very big moment for Thierry Mendes, especially after the dreadful season he had last year. Now he's off. He started with a bang. And Real Madrid are back in front. Now Getafe are looking for an equalizer. And could it happen again? It has happened again. And once again Mendes scores. But the team cannot keep the lead. And Getafe have scored an equalizer. And there is full time. The game ends as a 2 all draw. Real Madrid unable to beat Getafe and Mendes' first game as a Madrid player he does score and get the score sheet but it is not enough and Real Madrid only get one point and it is time for Mendes' Champions League day before Real Madrid again he's on for Lukaku can he make an instant impact once again Real Madrid currently 2-1 down and he's cleared it from the corner and now Juventus looking to cross it from here. Kone to Milik. And he almost scores, but the offside flag does go up and it would not have counted. Real Madrid have a chance here. Nice play, Thierry Mendes. And he has scored once again. Real Madrid at back level. Mendes gets his first Champions League goal for Real Madrid in a very big game. And they are back level. This will be very important. For them to progress to not lose here to Juventus and prevent them from getting three points but there is still a chance here for a winner can Real Madrid win and now it's a throw in for Real Madrid nice pass by Mendes can Madrid score a last minute winner Mendes no the defender has got it off him and that will be full time yes it is it ends as a two all draw both teams leave the game with one point and there is no winner tonight. And yet again, Mendes unable to inspire his team to a victory so far this season. He has not won a single game. The only game he won, he was sent off in. And once again, Mendes getting subbed on for Lukaku. This time, can Real Madrid actually win the game? It's a free kick. Jude Bellingham and it's 1-0. Bellingham! Belly goal, belly goal, Ali, Ina do manadu. I'm not gonna act like I know the song, my brother does. I don't know, it's, it's not trending as much as it was before. And also, Bellingham 
and did not do the actual celebration because it's not in the game. It's kind, it's kind of in the game, but it's not really. And they tried to score, but it's saved by the keeper. And now Real Madrid can counter. Mendes lost the ball, but they do keep it, and it's a nice ball over the top. Back to Thierry Mendes. Can he score? No, it's saved by the goalkeeper, and it's out. Corner. Mendes. And there it is. 3-0. And surely this will be Thierry Mendes' first win of the season. And he dies. The rockstar celebration. He has not done that celebration since he was at Crystal Palace. And he will do that a lot more because it's actually an underrated celebration. I actually like it a lot. It's a, it's kind of like the what's the, the celebration? I think it's Look at Me or something. Where no, it's neighborhood. It's almost like the neighborhood celebration. That's ball to Thierry Mendes. Can he get his brace? He's still running down goal. He's gonna pass it. He's gonna try and go for something. I don't know what that was. But now Real Valacano have a counter attack. Can they score from this? It's pass to the left winger and he's running through on goal and he's gonna shoot and it's gone in off the post. Cotua beaten and Real Vallecano make it 3-1. They are kind of back in the game but Real Madrid will have to do a lot actually to lose this game. They have a chance to cross into the box. It's cleared away but they've still got it now. Ozkan. And that is a clear chance and it's 3-2 and now Real Madrid have to be careful. They've got 12 minutes to not concede or else they will be leaving with another draw or even a loss if they are not careful. And Real Madrid really need to start switching on now. And they will go for more attack but it's cleared away. And the ref blows the whistle. It's a 3-2 win. Mendes finally gets his first win of the season. His first win with Real Madrid and he has scored in the game. He scored from the corner, the third goal and he is very happy with that. And a performance like that does mean something, something special. Lads. Don't get up mate. <laughs> Mendes gets his first start for Real Madrid at the Bernabeu and he starts over Lionel Messi. Although Lionel Messi wasn't starting before so I'm not sure why he was the player that I'm starting over. But that doesn't matter. Real Madrid vs Osasuna at the Bernabeu. Thierry Mendes' first start. Can he inspire Real Madrid to a victory? We'll have to wait and see. Real Madrid start first, nice ball to Thierry Mendes and just wide of the post. I'm not sure if the keeper saved that, I don't think he did. I think that shot was, yeah, the keeper didn't save it and it was close from Mendes, very close to an opener. And now Real Madrid have another chance to Thierry Mendes and again, how has he missed that? And now Osasuna have a chance from the corner they don't score no they do score from the volley and it is 1-0 Real Madrid go behind and once again it's not looking good bruv it's not looking good clear the way a half time whistle Real Madrid 1-0 down at home to Osasuna not the start Mendes would have wanted Mendes takes a throw in and it's back to him and he's going to shoot from distance but it's deflected up to the defender. Real Madrid still have a chance. Back to Mendes and it's straight at the goalkeeper. A header and again straight at the goalkeeper. Somehow Real Madrid unable to score there but Lukaku is down and he has got an injury. And that means that Mendes' strike partner will not be playing because the game is not smart enough to play players like Vinicius Jr. striker. So they're going to play some random 
79 overall player that I've never heard of before. Don't know why Real Madrid didn't have any other strikers. There you can see how he got injured again. Don't know how he got thrown that hard. But it does mean that Messi is getting subbed on. And Mendes and Messi played together for the first time ever. One of my career mode players plays with a legend. And Osasuna are looking for a second goal, which they do get. Courtois beating at his near post. And it looks like the Messi substitution is not enough for Real Madrid. And Osasuna look like they're going to be getting all three points from the champions of Spain. The UCL title record holders with 14 trophies. Actually, I don't know what it is in this series. I don't think they won the Champions League before in the series. But there it is. Full-time whistle. Osasuna get a 2-0 win. Another loss for Madrid. Another loss for Thierry Mendes. And hopefully in the next episode, he can really pick up his form. And Real Madrid can pick up their form. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Menezes' first time playing for Madrid. See you next time. Goodbye. In this world of CB Hollow, seven minds will always follow. For that short time of the Apollo, went to the bags in the barrel. I'm out the king of sorrow. I don't know. Witness, I won't show. Like Jacob, I will blow. Disregard your zero. Being past tears like I've been a pay bro.